Hi, this is John Persinos, Editorial Director of Investing Daily, with a video presentation for Monday, November 29. To view our full range of publications and trading services, visit our website at investingdaily.com. Also visit the website of our subsidiary, streetauthority.com. Once again, a microscopic pathogen has brought the world to its knees. Like the shape-shifting monster in a horror movie, COVID-19 has mutated into yet another deadly variant, defying vaccinations and causing a spike in infections, hospitalizations, and deaths in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Dubbed Omicron, the variant already is prompting travel and business lockdowns overseas. The fear on Wall Street is that it's only a matter of time. The same dynamic will afflict America just as the winter flu season gets underway. Stocks nosedived last Friday with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq each declining more than 2%. The Dow fell more than 900 points for the worst day of the year. Take a look at the following table. The Russell 2000 plunged more than 3%. International stocks also tumbled, as did oil prices. Thin trading volume during the holiday-shortened week likely worsened the declines. The CBOE Volatility Index, VIX, the so-called fear index, soared more than 54%. Just as the global economy was healing and the COVID crisis seemed to be waning, the pandemic sucker-punched the world. But during times of stress, it's my job to provide you with context. Yes, last week was dismal, but hypothetically, if the S&P 500 were to finish at the level shown on my table, it would be the fifth best yearly gain in the last 20 years. And historically, the stock market has performed well in the weeks after Thanksgiving. Take a look at this chart. Since 1950, the stock market on 19 occasions has gone into Thanksgiving with a year-to-date gain of 20%, including this year. And the following year, the average gain exceeded 18%. A significant tailwind right now is consumer spending, which is forecast to remain robust. The National Retail Federation, the NRF, is projecting an 8.5 to 10.5 increase in holiday sales this year versus 2020. The chart from NRF tells the story. Those projected spending levels would represent the highest holiday spending on record. Preliminary numbers show that Black Friday retail sales on November 26 likely posted a new record high. That said, fears that the variant will undermine economic growth weighed on oil markets last week with per barrel prices for U.S. benchmark West Texas Intermediate, WTI, and international benchmark Brent North Sea Crude swooning. Take a look. Oil's fall should help ease inflationary pressures and pain at the gasoline pump, at least temporarily, although crude oil is unlikely to keep falling for very long. But don't give in to your worst fears. Keep an eye on the hard data. Take a look at this table. Despite the aforementioned risks, plenty of reasons for optimism remain. Pharmaceutical companies already are working on a new vaccine to tackle the Omicron variant. And it's entirely likely that the latest outbreak could quickly fade, just as Delta ultimately faded. Consumers are sitting on a big hoard of household savings and renewed COVID fears should prompt the Federal Reserve to lean toward dovishness. Corporate earnings are strong and President Biden just signed an ambitious infrastructure package that provides several years of significant fiscal stimulus. Then there's monetary policy. Arguably, the head of the Federal Reserve is more important to Wall Street than the occupant of the White House. In Fed Chair Jerome Powell, investors have a steadfast friend. Biden has nominated Powell to another four-year term as head of the central bank, a move that has disappointed progressives in Congress but cheered investors. The Fed is tapering its asset purchases, but regardless, Powell has vowed to do whatever it takes to nurture the economy and shore up the markets. As I've just explained, the markets have shifted to risk-off mode. If you're looking for market-beating gains with less risk, consider the trading strategies of my colleague, Jim Fink. As chief investment strategist of Velocity Trader, Jim Fink has devised methodologies that reap big profits regardless of the pandemic's unpredictable path. Visit this URL that you see on your screen for details. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a profitable week and please stay safe out there.